so glad that you joined us. I'm Cindy Jarvis, a real estate professional with England Volkers Whitefish, part of the Western uh, Frontier team. And I want to introduce to you Eric Reese from Eric Reese Fine Art Photography, obviously the owner. And we are currently right now at the Kalispell Mall where his um, studio is set up at this time. Anyhow, Eric, um, I wanted to ask you, what inspired you to start your business? Well, first of all, thank you for taking your time to make this interview and, and promote uh, local businesses. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really great thing that your company is, is choosing to do. Uh, for me and my business, uh, you know, I grew up in a small business family. Uh, back in the 90s, my father ran a, owned, uh, operated and owned a small uh, one-hour uh, photography lab. Uh -huh. And so I had a lot of access to free processing and a dark room. And so I burned through film and just, you know, played with my camera and, and tried new things and learned new things. And I was, I've always been uh, drawn to the lay of the landscapes. And, and so it was growing up in that environment that kind of nurtured me for uh, then in 1995. Uh, I woke up one morning and told my bride of three months that <laughs> I, I want to be a professional photographer. Well, at the time, I was a portrait photographer, uh, but I, that wasn't my passion. My passion was creating uh, landscape fine art photography. So, and that's what I did on the weekends and on my holidays. And then in, in 2007, uh, we, my wife, Meadow, and I, we took the plunge and, and went full time. That's exciting. Um, so what was it like when you first started? Well, when we first started, it was... It was interesting because uh, we started on a shoestring budget. I mean, now I have beautiful pro panels and, and lights, but then I had homemade uh, walls with pig boards painted black, and uh, uh, it was a little clunky, but it worked. And, you know, we, we, were, we, we got the bug. Our first show we did, we were like, we're, we got to make this work. Whatever it takes, we're going to make this work. And, and, you know, that first year was quite interesting. We had some... Uh, weekends where we roll into a town to do an art show and we only had enough gas to get there <laughs> and so it was going to be a matter of you know we got to sell some art if we're going to get home and so it was really interesting you know my equipment was very uh, minimal and everything I could make I made myself and because uh, uh, we were determined to make it and we didn't start off with a lot of money. Oh, that's awesome. So <coughs> now what sets you apart from other you know landscape photographers? Well, um, you know, I think it's a combination of several things. First of all, uh, I'm running a small business, mm -hmm. and, and I went to college to get a degree in business. But most people, you know, when they ask me at art shows, you know, how did you get started, they think that I went to some art, fine arts school to learn photography. Uh, but no, I, I've got a business degree so that I could learn how to run a small business. And, the, and when it came to the photography side, you know, I would just read everything I could find. Now, we got to remember, this is in the days before YouTube University. Right. So you didn't get on the Internet and just look for videos about new things. I, mean, I would read magazine articles about whatever I could find on photography and uh, just, you know, learned what I could learn uh, by reading different articles about photography and following some of the early masters. And so then the combination of that business degree and then learning on the side about photography it really developed me uh, to be to take this with two equal parts of the art side of me and the business side of me because in order to survive you got to be able to manage your business and your finances and but yet you have to have great art and when I get capture an image I feel like I'm only halfway there when it comes to creating a fine art mm -hmm. piece the other half is when I get home and the other thing that I tried to master was Photoshop early on, back in the, starting back in the early 90s. Uh, because there's so much that I do is with the photograph in Photoshop. Now, I don't, I don't do co composites per se, as some people might do, or even think I might do. But I do do a lot of editing as far as micro contrast adjustments and uh, um, dodging and burning and uh, you know, highlighting subjects more with with uh, color control and so I really dive deep into the editing of my images and in the process of learning how to do that I, uh, it was important to me to learn my style 
And people that like my artwork, they like my style. And they know when they buy an art piece from me uh, 10 years ago, that when they buy one today, it will, it will still fall within that style of artwork that I do. And so, and part of that style is you'll notice that uh, I, I, sh I love to follow the light and what the light is illuminating. Uh, very few of my photographs am I shooting into the sun. It's just part of my style and my look that I've uh, really chased after over the years. Yeah, that's very noticeable and it just brings so much more appeal yeah. to your artwork. Thank you. Yeah. So now how has COVID affected your itinerary and what's been going on and where can you be found right now? Oh boy, I tell <laughs> you what, um, I had to cancel a show that was the following weekend that they closed the state down. Mm -hmm. I was all loaded, ready to go. It was a big show in March for us and that was kind of the story of our year. Uh, we would normally do 15 shows through the course of 2020 and we, this year we did five. Wow. five shows and they were all they were all good shows and so we're thankful for that people came out when we when we showed the artwork and so that was great um, but it, it's been a challenging year um, but it's also given us uh, you know opportunity to find new uh, avenues mm -hmm. of promoting the artwork good. okay so now tell me for 2021 Eric what can we expect from your photography and and your projects, what's going forward? Well, um, right before COVID hit, Meadow and I worked really hard to um, juice up, shall we say, our website at mm -hmm. ericreese.com. And we're really glad we did that because now we have a fully functional website where uh, you can buy photographs and you can arrange shipping or, or picking up in our home studio. Uh, but then I can also do um, blogs on my uh, website. And that's kind of something that we're we're ramping up now for 2021, and part of our, our blogs is going to be an addition of video content. So I've been busy uh, researching and learning new programs, and kind of you know being an old dog trying to learn some new tricks, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, and so that's been fun. But this winter, every winter, I really like to to really just uh, get my teeth into something new. Uh, last winter, it was the astrophotography. Uh, this winter, it's going to be video and. So when I come out in the spring, I plan to be really going full strength with uh, video content. Uh, I like my photography. I plan to be very specific and focused with it. It will be more of a cinematography type photography, or pardon me, video um, that will promote my artwork. And uh, it's going to be something that uh, I will present to my subscribers. If you go to ericreese.com and you become a subscriber on my website, uh, you get uh, first access to new content when it comes out, and that will include my video content. And I got a special surprise coming out Christmas Eve, uh, my first video that I've already been working on. Uh, so that's kind of where we're going for 2021. Great. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're going to put together for us. Thank you. With your videos. Everything else is just so awesome and beautiful photography. So I have, I'm Cindy Jarvis with Engel and Volker's Whitefish, a part of the Western Frontier team. And I had the opportunity and so glad to have been able to uh, interview Eric Reese. Um, and I'm looking forward to everything that you have to offer in the future. And please uh, check in to parkbench.com forward slash whitefish to uh, be able to see this video again and again, I hope. Thank you for joining us.